Tiger minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, engines full power, and lift up of Starlink 5-11. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Falcon 9 is pitching downrange. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds, F9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 at the Cape at 3.10 a.m. Eastern Time. Nominal power and telemetry. F9 is currently going through the throttle bucket, which is when we throttle down the nine M1D engines in preparation for max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. You just heard that Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means that the vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. You should be hearing the call up for Max Q shortly. Max Q. And there it is. And Max Q is the point at which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stress as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Back chill. We're now about one minute away from a series of events, MECO, stage SEP, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin engines on the first stage shut down. Stage separation is when the first and second stages separate from one another. SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And fairing separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. Keep an eye out as these are going to happen pretty quickly back to back. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Solid callouts there on Miko stage separation and SES-1. Should be coming up on fairing separation in just a couple seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you can see those two fairing halves separating and falling away from the second stage. Both of the fairing halves that flew on today's mission are flight proven, with one half flying for the fourth time and the other its fifth. We'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Bob. Both stages are on nominal trajectories. Just as a reminder, on the left-hand side of the screen is the Falcon 9 first stage. And on the right is the MVAC engine on our second stage, carrying our Starlink satellites to their desired orbit. The MVAC engine on your screen right there is attached to the second stage, is continuing its burn, which will last for another couple minutes. And you can read the velocity uh, on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, which is continuing to increase. For those of you who are just joining us, we had an on-time liftoff at 3.10 a.m. Eastern Time from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral. Today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 39th launch of the year and 230th Falcon 9 mission to date.
The 52 satellites on today's mission will join the rest of our Starlink constellation, which is now delivering high-speed, low-latency internet to over 1.5 million people around the globe. Starlink is the world's largest satellite constellation, and today's launch marks our 20th Starlink mission just for 2023. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. Coming up in a couple of seconds should be the Entry Burn startup on stage one. The Entry Burn slows down the first stage so that all of that heat loading and structural loading from stage the atmosphere FTS is saved. doesn't go straight stage into one the vehicle. Startup. There you can see that Entry Burn has begun where stage one has relit three of its engines, engines one, five, and nine, to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn shut down. You can see that the entry burn on the stage first stage has now been completed. The first stage that is used to launch our 52 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for the ninth time today. We do have one more burn coming up on the first stage, which is the landing burn, and it should be coming up in about a minute. The center engine, E9 specifically, is the engine that relights for landing burn to slow it down before it touches down on the drone ship. Stage one transonic. Heard that the first stage is transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound. Coming up next, we have the landing burn, which should start in about 15 seconds from now. Stage one landing burn. Can see stage that two, terminal guidance. the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for a touchdown on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Keep an eye out for the landing legs that are landing scheduled to deploy. deploy just a few moments before landing. Stage one landing confirmed. And Falcon 9 has now successfully landed, marking the ninth successful landing for this booster. We're now, loss of signal keep. we're now awaiting second engine cutoff, which is shut down. right on time. Nominal orbit insertion. And you just heard we had successful SECO-1 and nominal orbital insertion. So with confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff, that's going to wrap up our coverage for today. Today's landing marks our 199th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions, and our 230th Falcon 9 mission to date. Be sure to